Today we'll be checking out C6R5 Chiori, seeing if she can solo Abyss, and of course what she can do in an actual team as well. So we did go over her constellations in the raising video, but just as a quick refresher, C1 through C5 essentially makes her off-field damage better. She'll summon more dolls to do more attacks. C6 completely changes her though, making her a main DPS. Her skill goes from having a 16 second cooldown to a 4 second cooldown, and since she can also give herself a Geo Infusion, this means permanent Geo Infusion. And her normal attacks start scaling with her def, so yes. It is pretty crazy how one constellation can completely change your character, so of course we do gotta finish maxing her out, getting her Uraku here to R5. R1 versus R5 is pretty typical, it just doubles all the values, but honestly the values to start out with at R1 were already good. Now we're getting 64% normal attack damage, 96% elemental skill damage, and 40% def. Those are some crazy numbers, but let's go ahead and get it to R5. Also of course it wouldn't be a C6 R5 video without triple crowning her, so we're gonna do that as well. I want to check out those multipliers, we're getting over a thousand percent combined multiplier on her burst, which is a bit of an understatement because it's actually over 1200% multiplier, over 700% multiplier for her skill, and then almost 400% for each of the doll's attacks. And then of course, for all of her normal attacks, we can add a plus 235 death there. In terms of artifacts, I don't think Golden Troop's gonna be that great anymore at C6 when she's a main DPS, especially because we're already getting basically 100% from her weapon. Honestly, I think we might just try and go Husk. I know I don't have as many good pieces, but we get a lot of death here, which is gonna be important since again, our weapon is giving so much like just damage multiplier anyway. I do actually want to take note of her current stats to see how much worse it's going to be, if at all. So we put her in the best husk I have, not taking into account the four piece set. We actually do have about 100 more attack, 300 more def, six less crit rate, 20 more crit damage, 10 less ER. Besides that, we are giving up 45% skill damage in exchange for the 24 geo and 24 def we'll get when we have the four piece set active here. I do think it's worth it though, because again, at C6, I think we're going to be doing the majority of our damage with basics, or at least a big chunk of it. I would actually like more crit rate, so I think we're going to strong box a little bit. I'm going to keep this section short because it's not the point of the video, but oh yeah, almost forgot I can just do this. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is the first one with real promise here and a second actually really good looking one here. So we did a lot of strong boxing, everything with new on it, obviously. And besides those two, there wasn't really much else with promise, but thankfully one of them was a sans and our current sans is pretty horrible. We just have 21 crit damage. This one though does look pretty good. So let's uh, one shot it and see where it rolls. Oh, only into crit rate and crit damage. That was very nice. Our current flower isn't bad. 20 crit damage, 27 death. This one is close to perfect though. We just have that flat attack there we wanna try and avoid as much as possible. It rolled once, so honestly, not bad. And we do have some crit rate there. I did want more crit rate, so we're gonna switch to it and check out our stats now. 86 crit to 229 crit damage honestly sounds a lot better. But yes, we are unfortunately ready to uh, solo Abyss now. We do have to get through the earlier ones, but I'll keep floor nine through 11 pretty short. Basically just some first impressions about her damage now that she's C6 and we can do her skill like again every four seconds now honestly her pets are just killing everything before I get a chance to go to them which is so funny the sad thing is solo Chiori cannot summon more than one pet so our, our skill damage is essentially halved I mean our normal attacks actually are doing less than I thought they would about 10k per strike here although that is through a shield so hold on 60k pet attack what the hell <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind. Our normal attacks are doing like 30k. So far, it's been going pretty fine. We're moving on to floor 11 with a 75% geo damage bonus. I do have to be a little bit careful though, because like with Navia, all the damage we take is permanent damage. We can't heal. And there are a lot of enemies here in the first chamber. Oh no. Um, maybe we chose the wrong side for her. She's like one hit away from being dead. Yeah, damn. Oh man, these things are kind of hard actually. I'm really not sure if I even want to go to the next floor with... 2000 HP left. <laughs> I guess we are. I forgot what we have to deal with here. Oh no, the water dudes. I did take the Abyss card that heals us 25%, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. We already got hit by them once, so we're back in the red. But there's only one left now, so might might work out. It is crazy how much damage she's actually doing completely solo. I am definitely smelling a one cycle Liam coming up, but okay, we're at floor 12. I definitely do think we should go second half. I mean, we got the arithmetic mech there, kind of need Geo. Also, this dude has a lot of Geo res, the rock breaker axe. First half as usual, just good old Nuvolet team. Hasn't let me down yet, but I'm gonna add a little bit of an extra challenge here. No matter how fast my Nuvolet team clears first half, I'm only gonna give Chiori a minute and a half for the boss. 
which I think is fair. Seems like on this site, you might not have more than a minute and a, and a half anyway. These guys are so tanky, it's insane. We're just gonna wait a little bit so that we don't have to actually keep an eye on time. Okay, close enough, a minute 32. Starting off with the uh, Jade Plume Terrorist Room here. Yeah, we're doing about 20K normals, I guess. Jade Plume is half dead in like 15 seconds. Like I know Jade Plume is one of the easier bosses, but still, okay, we're like almost dead now. It which is annoying. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh. we had a buff that lets us heal when we do burst, but that's gone now and we're almost dead. So <laughs> we're probably gonna have to restart the whole thing. Oh, oh no, hold on, hold on, Farina, stop, stop. Okay, well, let's just kill him at the nine minute mark so that we know we need to kill this boss by seven minute 30 instead of seven. Okay, uh, perpetual mechanical array. I mean, as far as I'm aware, most of his attacks aren't that hard to avoid. When he gets disabled and all of his pets show up, that might be a different story because I know there's a lot of them doing a lot of stuff. But yeah, my dude just chilling. Oh no, okay, that was bad. We have to literally not get hit again. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I think we have to restart the whole thing. We need to be more careful on Jade Plume. Okay, we did get hit. I'm gonna wait until I get hit one more time to actually do burst so that uh, we can heal a little bit more. And if we somehow manage to not get hit again, we'll just do burst to finish him off then. Uh, that's a big attack. I'm gonna go away from there. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. We're probably just going to, oh, do burst. Oh no, did, did we actually heal? Oh, we, oh, we did heal. I saw it down there. So far, pretty much all six of the cards have been completely useless here, like EM. I can't get hit by the first two attacks he attacks me with. If we get hit again, I'm restarting. I want to have at least half HP for the last boss because I've like only fought in that dude twice. I'm not even sure what's going on with him. That dude just ran away when I was doing my burst? Why? Oh, red. Yeah, I mean, we only have about a minute and a half anyway, so. Not really gonna bother doing uh, math, I guess. Why? Dude. Okay, it's the ping. It's the ping messing me up. How have I gotten hit by everything so far? I am out of range or I framing at the right time, but it's just like, it doesn't care. Like, what was that? The attack wasn't even there yet. Probably just gonna say seven minute 20. I just have to be more careful, I guess, and like literally just run away from the dude until after he does an attack. Don't know how to avoid that. I mean, I was out of the radius and we actually didn't get hit, so okay, fair. Oh, he's going into his disabled mode now. Hopefully this time the dude doesn't run away from my burst, please. It also did literally no damage, which was weird. Oh, uh, come on, hurry, just, just, okay. They're gone. Oh, that was actually really good. Plenty of time and we're like almost full health still. I'll take it. Like she actually does so much damage solo that I can just run around and be careful and still kill him. That's insane. Final chamber here. We have Coppelia on this side. I probably will have to learn a bit more about that robot in the uh, second chamber or the second half here. Now nah, I think we'll need a new bullet charge in there. Yeah. Okay. A second too late. I also don't think she's as good at getting rid of the shield. Oh no. Yeah, she's actually really bad at getting rid of the shield. Uh, I think her burst does do a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's a, she's a sword user, so it makes sense, you know. Oh, and he does a lot of damage. We're like already dead. Oh, we can do plunge attacks. He works like that uh, other boss. Okay, we're gonna retry because that would have helped. Okay, that should do it. Ah, right on the nose that time. There's a little, okay. Oh wait, no, no. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think I got it. Now he's hopefully not gonna do anything for a little bit. Oh, he's, he's doing something. I don't know. Oh no, holy sh meteors. Can I even avoid those? So yeah, we're at 913. So we need to beat this thing by 743. We actually can start plunging from the very beginning. Um, it is a little risky though, because if we're landing when he's doing his first, like now, Okay, there we go. We are back in it though. We should, oh, hurry up, please get burst. Oh no, no, no. Okay, we just ran around. Now we essentially wasted burst when he didn't even have a shield. Uh, yeah, he's doing other stuff now. Oh, the ground, the ground, the ground. He doesn't have a shield right now though. Will he even get another shield? Oh, he got another shield. Oh, the shock waves. No, come on, we were so close, man. Jump, hurry. I'm not even sure if, is he doing more shock waves? No, he's doing, he's doing the other stuff. Oh, go, 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 go. No, wait, no, no. 130 HP. Oh God. I'm 99% I'm sure we had time left as well. I said 743 and I think we had like just dipped into the seven minutes. So we're good in that department. Wow. Uh, that was very close there at the end, but 
actually a pretty easy solo. Definitely not as easy as the self healers like Nuvolet and Risley. That was literally child's play, but definitely easier than Navia though. To be fair, I think Navia's Abyss was harder than this one. So there's that, I guess we can put a check mark there. Also, just for the record, I hope no one takes this sort of silly benchmark seriously. So even if one day I run into a unit that I can't solo Abyss with, it doesn't mean they're bad. And also because I had a much harder time, you know, soloing with Navia than I did Chiori, doesn't necessarily say anything about, you know, if Chiori is better than Navia, especially in Navia's case, because a lot of her power is locked behind being able to do Crystallize, which of course is kind of hard solo. <laughs> anyway, the C6R5 videos are just kind of fun. Ooh, look at cool big number and HP bar go away fast. Speaking of which, I'm coming for you, Liam. I hope you're prepared. I'm honestly a little nervous. Like if we can't one cycle him, I'm going to be slightly disappointed. All right, but anyway, here we go. Let's just start with her ultimate. Oh yeah, we got a 158 there. Oh my God. And we're doing like 100K per normal attack. There was a 123 like charge attack. Liam's like dead. Liam's literally dead. Holy, holy shit. That was by far, that was by far the fastest I've ever killed that dude. That wasn't even a whole cycle. She already still had some juice and buffs and everything. Liam, I'm so sorry. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh my God. Um, Jesus Christ, like every little normal attack was doing 100k. That's so stupid. So we are going to try Rocky, which is somehow even more annoying than Liam because he's like jumping all over the place and can probably one shot my Chiori because she doesn't have a lot of HP. But uh, here we go anyway. Let's uh, give Rocky a try. All right, swapping out to Chiori now. We're just going to do her burst immediately, I suppose. Yeah, that was a 167 there. Uh, do some normals here. Get another E in there. Yep, he's gone already. Uh, we uh, accidentally swapped out a little too early. Okay. I would say that was basically one rotation. We did accidentally swap to Farina like twice after doing E because we were just spamming it. Uh, but obviously that's not what I wanted to do. I told Cap about my pretty good Liam run there and he was just like, uh, oh, Farina is carrying. I guess because her minions do a lot of damage. So we're actually going to go to this dude. You can see over there is also a local legend with absurd stats like insane HP like Liam and Rocky and, and, and co. But obviously this monster is immune to hydro damage. So yes, our damage will be lower because Farina's actually not doing anything. I still wanna see how close we can uh, get to a one cycle. So we are gonna summon her pets anyway for the fanfare stacks. You know, of course, just get Benny boost in there, all the typical stuff we do. And I think we're actually gonna start with an E this time, attack a little bit and then we can do burst. Uh, it should do a little chunk. Yes, 218. Very good. We just need to make sure we're only doing um, actually one E and not swapping out to Farina. And look at that. Done. Maybe that was slightly longer than one cycle. Maybe I would have uh, swapped back into Farina, uh, you know, one or two uh, attacks earlier, but I'm going to count that as a one cycle. Glad we got that settled. Those were like three of some of the hardest enemies in the game, plus solo floor 12. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to do. So yeah, as embarrassing as it is, I just now realized right before rendering my video that uh, our Chiri was primarily attacking with pyro damage because mini ring. I'm so used to self infusers just ignoring that these days. That being said, on the hydro enemy we just fought, her damage was still good. But of course, I do want to try not having Benny and seeing if there's a difference. I think pretty much no matter who we choose, we're going to lose some damage. We're, we are going to throw Zhongli in there because third Geo gives us some extra crit damage from Goro and res down. We actually don't have much res down at all in this team. So I think that could be pretty effective. So we're just going to fight Jade Plume here. Unfortunately, my previous team was really bad and we have 500 ping. Not anymore, but whatever. So let's ignore trying to get three stars. We would have like 30 seconds anyway. I mean, maybe we can do it, but uh, Let's just not really pay attention to that, I guess. We're mostly just trying to see what she's doing now. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, honestly, like her actual normal attack damage isn't... Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, we actually did get three stars anyway. But yeah, I mean, her normal attack damage wasn't that much different when she was hitting with Pyro. I guess also because at least some of them were vaporizing. But okay, I guess I just wanted to point that out and then also do a run without Benny. <laughs> so back to the other me to wrap it up. C6 R5 character is strong. I know, it's crazy. I did think it was interesting how much she changes from C5 to C6 though, so... Yeah, there's that. Let me know what you think though in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.